so um, hi everyone. Uh, so it's me, Elizaveta Olenikova, uh, the expert liaison of uh, Student uh, Guide Dart 2021 conference. Uh, so today we are going um, to talk on uh, consumer behavior in uh, during pandemic uh, and uh, crisis reality. Uh, so uh, the guest of um, this current session is uh, uh, Leonid Grigoriev, uh, Chen Professor uh, in High School of Economics uh, and Academic Supervisor for uh, Department of uh, Global Economy in High School of Economics. Um, so, hi, Professor Leonid. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you today. Uh, so, let me ask the first question. Uh, so, uh, how the pandemic and uh, context of uh, crisis reality have affected consumer behavior? Huh. Uh, well, uh, there is no consumer behavior in general. It's only new theory. In practice, uh, any um, uh, commercial bank or any consulting firm will divide uh, consumers by social structure. Uh, we're going uh, down to up. Bot bottom up uh, system. Poor people in the crisis are losing incomes and uh, they just squeeze their behavior. Consumers behave it to minimum, uh, except for cases uh, with uh, more or less uh, generous uh, donations from the government in many countries. Sometimes it's uh, rather substantial, but still uh, they cannot change the behavior. Uh, normally, for example, the distribution of additional bonuses by American government, uh, one third goes to savings, one go, uh, third goes the new distribution of, uh, from uh, Joe Biden already this year. Uh, and one third goes to pay for uh, credit uh, card debts. Uh, so it's very complex, but it's very simple. We are trying uh, to survive in the same way. And we uh, cannot go for uh, rich in, uh, for uh, cheap entertainment. Uh, cheap entertainment, I mean football, stadiums, uh, beer bar, beer bars, and so on. So we are deprived of uh, minimal entertainment, which even poor people uh, deserve and, and can afford in the uh, regular uh, time. Uh, middle middle classes are adjusting one or another way. Uh, it's very much dependent. Poor people are similar in the world, how we consume. Uh, middle classes are very different. It, it depends on what does it mean, middle class, for developing a developed country. Russia is not uh, Brazil, or Brazil is not United States. Uh, we are trying to adjust. Uh, and we are also have some, uh, what I called, um, what I called and published as uh, forced savings. Uh, and we uh, moved a little bit into the bank of real estate as much as we can, uh, even in stock market. Rich people uh, have um, a huge forced savings, and we, uh, it's why it's abnormal crisis with a high growth of stock markets in real estate activity and prices. So probably uh, we will be pulled out of the recession by the um, housing market one of possibilities and uh, stock market uh, in the european zone average uh, average uh, um, household saving rate to, to disposable income uh, was normally 40 13 14 percent uh, middle uh, second half 2020 it's more than 25 percent and of course it's not middle classes of where that's uh, rich quintile so, uh, no, new normalcy, crisis normalcy, uh, looks like very strange. People, uh, e equality in consumption came forced because you cannot go anywhere. So, minus transportation, minus recreation, minus beer, uh, minus um, uh, rich people don't go to Sardinia for six star hotels, uh, poor people don't go to Turkey, uh, middle classes don't go to Turkey for uh, economic class hotels. So we are all sitting at home, but rich people turn to consumer uh, behavior. 
are using more money for ordering food, ordering goods, uh, and entertainment. Uh, American uh, households buying 20% more uh, consumer durables for recreation than in, 19, uh, in 2019. And there are no drop in the buying durable goods for entertainment. Everything down. So mostly the crisis concentrated in in services, not in all services, but mostly in, uh, as I said, no, everybody knows, transportation, tourism, uh, recreation, uh, catering. And uh, rich, quint uh, rich 20% uh, fifth quint uh, quintile uh, has very high share of these services especially in developed countries and in Russia, it's the same. It's a, we have the same social distribution like in the United Kingdom. And, uh, and people lost the access to uh, services and turned to uh, different type of services and different type of entertainment and different type of uh, buying goods. That's, that's kind of new normalcy uh, in the crisis. Uh, rich people are pretty comfortable because money pays for everything. Is it the answer? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much. So, I, I got all information I wanted to this question. Uh, so, uh, every crisis is uh, permanent and uh, won't last forever, um, I guess. Uh, and uh, how do you think? Um, Will these changes uh, in consumer behavior last forever? Or will they change in a, um, a pre-crisis uh, period? Well, uh, yes, we, so we, we know a little bit what is the crisis normalcy. Uh, what, uh, what's going on? First pandemic uh, goes much longer than it was expected from the very beginning. So we, we suppose that part of the habits will stay, uh, it will survive, but part of the habits will be rejected, crisis behavior, will be rejected, and uh, natural, um, I would say, especially in the uh, hedonistic world, people will uh, do contrary to what we were forced to do at the time of pandemic and uh, restrictions and quarantines and everything. And we, we would, I would expect in some, uh, many countries like Brazil, United States, Russia, we will go contrary to our lockdowns to more entertainment, more travel, um, uh, more uh, visiting, uh, more sightseeing or recreation and everything. So, but. Uh, it, it will not all will be easily affordable. Uh, so I would say it would be entertainment uh, socially uh, stratified. The many more entertainment after the crisis. People, uh, the history of pandemics, uh, European pandemics, basically led to more entertainment. People <laughs> wanted more entertainment. Uh, <laughs> if you remember, the Cameron actually they were reacted as a rich people. We were all down themselves and tell and told stories. Uh, it was one of the previous pandemics. <laughs> I think it was 14th century, 13, 40 uh, uh, years. So um, uh, consumer behavior will, will be changing. Uh, I would expect uh, wider, um, uh, wider space in restaurants, less people in the museums, uh, much more cautious resorts. So it will be a lot more cautious world. Um, uh, sustainable development goals of the United Nations didn't foresee this pandemic. Uh, goal number, CDG number three on health, uh, health systems practically fail, failed. Uh, it's, uh, world wasn't prepared for the pandemic. And we had this line uh, to kind of liquidate all the epidemics by 2030. Now it doesn't look like uh, reality. And pandemic may have a continuation here and there in the next years. There is, so people will be concentrated on safety. If you take the, uh, I would strongly recommend all students to revive 
the memory of Maslow pyramid. Uh, it's about 100 years old, but still actual in this, uh, so people will stick to basics and safety first, after that to uh, other activities uh, psychologically. So we, we will have uh, changes. Uh, and for example, um, I think it will be uh, giving a chance to small electrical cars. So people will maybe go out of uh, public transportation, uh, squeezed uh, to more working from uh, homes and moving in small cars, uh, keeping themselves separately from other people. Maybe kind of, um, I would expect that self-isolation and uh, working for privacy maybe uh, will last longer than other things. So I'm private, safe, uh, locked, but I'm going uh, uh, to see friends maybe more often than before. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. And, it's, uh, a good news. You... it's a good news. Really, really good news. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. So, <laughs> and um, please um, share your opinion. So, how do you think uh, will uh, business and corporations? Um, uh, be more mm, sustainable, more uh, social, uh, res uh, socially responsible. Will they respond uh, to SDGs associated with the uh, health? Uh, well, it depends on uh, on money uh, on on demand. Uh, if they have uh structural changes in the demand from uh, population and again it will be very different not only by strata but let's remind that rich strata uh in uh, uh, in the united states fifth quintile it's close to one hundred thousand dollars tax uh, tax base for family it's about 20% of population uh, and 20% in all different the same the same 20% of rich population in developing countries maybe 10,000 so uh, never uh, my advice from uh, the person who works between economics and social and, uh, and even politology social studies and politology uh, don't take any statements on population, citizen demand, there is no such thing. There is only everything is stratified, at least by three broad lines, uh, and it's different by countries by GDP, con consumer um, uh, available consumer income per capita. Uh, so it will be changes. Uh, what if we are talking about uh, more or less developed countries? Uh, probably um, papers and corporations will talk down uh, uh, consumers into what is convenient. I don't believe uh, with independent demand. Uh, it's independent uh, in terms of it makes choice between rappers uh, or between uh, just bands. Uh, but if the general culture uh, TV, uh, n uh, social networks, uh, and so on, will uh, talk us down into that type uh, of uh, progressive consumer behavior. Probably we will pay money for this, all this stupid information, which is uh, delivered to us in the quantities about 10 times more than actually we need. Uh, because we don't need, to, uh, I believe that uh, most. And don't uh, don't consider me conservative. I I take this information, but I I, I put certain filters. It doesn't stay with me <laughs> because the um, the main fun is to produce something interesting, not to read something interesting. Uh, but the um, uh, corporation networks and media magnates are interested. We will pay for the information. That's a problem. Road may be much less interesting in terms of that it would be overloaded by information, uh, even for small money. Instead, in maybe buying connected uh, goods and services. Uh, the idea which was developed by early 
revolutionaries in 18, uh, 18 or 19th century that free time will give more art and sciences and individual development. Yeah. So far, it doesn't work. It doesn't, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. We are becoming slaves of the information produced by other people. But we will resist. Yeah, but it sounds a bit uh, pessimistic. <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, it depends on the uh, uh, patterning. Uh, I would say what I teach uh, and what my friends uh, teach of different age does matter. Uh, people with uh, inclining to intellectual activities, uh, we probably will be resisting naturally to attempts to make us slaves of uh, information produced by of huge quantities by other people, uh, we will select if we go to cinema or to theatre or to read the books uh, one or another way. No, 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 we will survive. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you. It sounds more optimistic. So, and, <laughs> and I have uh, one more question. Yeah. Uh, so, I hope that you agree that uh, all these changes will also affect the uh, uh, market of educational services. So if you do, uh, then how educational market will be affected? Probably will consumer be more uh, demanding or will they be more involved in education or take everything for granted? Uh, what I observe now, in a few years before uh, COVID-19 and now uh, in process and after, is uh, that um, uh, employers are more selective in terms of the qualities of people. If you want people uh, with fast reaction, uh, easy finding information and uh, reshuffling information. So I don't think uh, educational programs will be fast enough to adjust. We will declare it, we will do something, uh, but I would say individual activity is much more import uh, important factor uh, in uh, the um, in, on the market for students. Uh, uh, trying to bring the CV and the list of programs uh, which are stating that they, uh, you are fast, uh, sharp, <laughs> and adaptive uh, uh, will not be sufficient. You must be uh, adaptive, uh, sharp, <laughs> and fast uh, in the interview or in the test or in the interaction with the interviewers. Um, uh, my students are what we call in Russian, I will use, maybe we will translate again, режет подметки на ходу. I don't know how to translate it into English, uh, but being sharp uh, probably is an important competitive advantage. Uh, oh, it was always, it probably will be more important because the supply of people pretending we are sharp increasing uh, and uh, I think the employers will be more selective looking for the real not talents but um, um, a property, properties of the in their uh, employed people in the real properties when just declared in CV. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, and, uh, so prepare to be in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, how will uh, decent formats uh, change that uh, consumer behavior in the uh, educational market? Uh, you can, uh, you should go one step ahead of your course. And if you are in bachelor's years, you need to look uh, how change, uh, how in the range of potential master programs, how programs are changing, and to look what you can do. Um, I teach mostly uh, something multi, uh, uh, multi dimensional because I teach, for example, for politologists the difference between Anglo-Saxon continental European nation capitalism. Mm -hmm. uh, so something not really normal why teaching Russian economy in English, 
for uh, volunteers or uh, teaching um, uh, postgraduate course, global economy theory and reality uh, demonstrating how a theory is uh, becoming obsolete because of uh, facts, uh, real, real life changing faster than uh, theories are uh, getting um, uh, upgraded. Uh, so I'm on frontier uh, and uh, pushing my students. But general advice, you just look what's happening uh, in your field, because to, you are uh, here, I understand students from many different universities and different um, departments. Uh, I, can, uh, I can give only general advice. You should go one step ahead of looking what is changing in the market uh, and in terms of hiring people and in return with changing programs. Uh, Try uh, a general, uh, general idea, to the highest point, point on the hill in terms of uh, diversity of options and um, instruments in your, uh, in your how, uh, there is nice American term, a record. What is the best uh, technology in your record? Uh, somebody put hand, is it a question or what? Uh, so. mm. No, I guess, yeah, no, I guess no. Sorry. Uh, just, uh, it's on my nose. Oh, I see. Uh, so it might be a misconception. So, no, no, no. Uh, so um, I got all uh, informational answers that I uh, needed. So thank you very much for your precious time. So it was a pleasure to uh, have a, such an insightful talk with you. So this welcome. And this if anybody morning. interested uh, to look what I publish, it um, you may give uh, the line of I have my. Uh, on site, I, I'm not blogger, I'm not selling anything, it's safe. Uh, but if you want to read something, you can, may go to my site uh, and that's it. So, uh, thank, thank you. you, thank you very much again. So, bye, have a nice day. Thank you.